Please listen carefully. Good morning, Alex. I've actually already recorded this entire video, but I spent the majority of the time discussing the fact that I had nothing important to talk about. Which is a bit of a cop-out, because there's always something I can discuss. There's lots of things that I'm interested in, there's lots of books and films and TV shows that I enjoy that I could just discuss. And so that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to be discussing one of my most recent favorite books, and how its movie adaptation could have been much, much better. I'm talking about Ender's Game. Did I already talk about Ender's Game? I'm talking about Ender's Game. Ender's Game, the movie, was good. I enjoyed it. It had lots of great actors in it, and all the young actors and actresses that they picked up were really excellent in the film. But it could have been so much better. Now, of course, getting to the point where there actually was an Ender's Game film was a bit of an upward battle just because Orson Scott Card sort of didn't want to make a film for a very long time because he wanted the characters to remain as young as they were in the book, which is extremely young. And actors and actresses that young are very difficult to work with. So the producers wanted the characters to be sort of like in the 16 age and a little older than that. So that they could also work in a love interest, because who doesn't love a love interest? I, for one, am very interested in the fact that in The Hobbit they've worked in a love interest between a dwarf and an elf, which didn't exist at all in the books. The Hobbit is getting three movies. They easily could have split that into two films and still had the full storyline. They could have just cut some of those battles down to less than 20 minutes apiece, and that would have given them plenty of room for dialogue. With Ender's Game, I mean, the whole book is sort of this internal psychological thing, with Ender trying to figure out what's going on at battle school and what he needs to do in order to survive. And they kind of just breeze through that in the movie. My biggest gripe is that in reading the book, I really enjoyed the battles and just listening to Ender's strategies when it came to defeating his opponents. And I wanted more of that in the film. They go through all this detail about battle school and the battles and how they function, but then you only really see one of them. I would have split it into two films. The first film would have covered everything all the way through battle school and then ended with Valentine and Ender on the lake having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation about what Ender was going to do next. That feels like a perfect spot to just split it. And in doing that, it gives you a whole extra hour to work with a battle school so that you could then be discussing what the battle school is all about. You could have Ender talking to people, making friends, and coming up with strategies. You could have a lot more battles to show how he's learning strategies as far as that's concerned. And also you can show him training launches and doing things that are sort of against the grain of everybody else. So that you can show him becoming this commander, which is kind of important. And then the next film could just pick up with him at command school and just flash back to him and Valentine at the lake to discuss how he got there. And then that film would focus entirely at him in command school all the way through the end of the storyline which would give you much more ability to show him becoming the true commander. It would show them pushing him and pushing him and pushing him, which would be much more interesting to see. I just feel like that they took the whole film and they just tried to get through it as fast as possible. And after all the years it took to get it to the point of actually being a movie, I feel like they just sort of gave up. I actually didn't read Ender's Game until the movie was about to come out because my wife is a huge fan of Ender's Game and I wanted to be prepared for the film. I wanted to know what I was going into. Which is probably why I was disappointed in the film because I read the book. It was like, oh my gosh, this book is awesome and the movie is not living up to the book, which is the curse of books as I've discussed several months ago on the vlog. Anyways, Alex, long story short, books better, movies worse. I'll see you tomorrow.